it's me Sonia and I'm back with another bright video for you. This is a flip, flip through video of creative retreats kits. I was backed up on three kits because I was in the hospital and I had a lot of health issues. Um, so I what I did was I took I took the kits and in each kit I did three of the um, verses in this Bible. And then the Restorious kit, I did a group in my in my house with um, my, some of my family members, and we all worked on some of the on the some of the kits. So um, the Victorious kit, and the Victorious kit, we are planning on doing all the verses. But I'll show you. Um, I think it's Amazing Grace and Victorious, and the one before that, which was Mirror Mirror. Okay. So let's just get started. I have them marked. I'm not going to show you them in order, but I'm just going to go by this thing right here. Okay, the first one is Victorious. And this one is about focusing on God and focusing on... Um, It says the verse says verse 25 and we are in Proverbs. Yes, Proverbs. Proverbs, I can look at four. Proverbs 4, 25, where it says, Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Yep, directly before you. That's what it says. Um, and then I use some I actually use some stamps from um, By the Way for God, the eyes, and this focus on Him, and these little glasses right here that was from By the Way for God. And th I use the stamp, which is My Eyes on You. The background is with um, a stencil and some inking, and then my prayers right here. So that was for Victorious. The next one is, let's see, what's going to pop up here? Okay, this one was for Amazing Grace. And as you see, I used some of my stash. Like I've been saying in my last videos, I am really trying to use up my stash. So for every entry on the Bible or on scrapbooking, I am going to add something from my stash. Like this right here is from my stash in the grace. I use some of the wording and I use I cut this word that said grace, grace, grace. I cut it up and the verse is I didn't mark it. That's not good. I have to come back on that one. I know it's in John. It might be John first. Um I'm not sure right now. Um, I will look it up and come back to you on that. I did Mud, mud Podge because they gave us something. And this was from, by the way, I forgot. They gave me a piece of this, the hymnal. I cut it up. I cut a piece here and I Mud Podge it. And then I add the stickers. I added some of the rhinestones. And that's it. And I used the stamp with the flowers because I like that. I liked that stamp. It was kind of cute. So that was for Amazing Grace. The next one is another one of Amazing Grace. It says, the verse where it says, um, we are in John 13, um, verse 34. It says, a new co command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. I kept going. So it says, by the eye. By this, everyone will know that you are my dis disciples, if you love one another. So I had the sticker that said, love one another as I have loved you, which is John 13. It's the same verse. I said over here, always choose love. I had to put some white on here because I had some bleed through. This washi tape is from Illustrated Faith. This is also from my stash. And then I used the stickers from the devotional that came in the devotional. I had a little piece of this. I made it into a bow and I, a bow and I tied it and I placed it there. I also used some butterflies that came with this shit. 
with these with the sheet of stickers. Sorry. Okay, let's see. Let's keep going fast here. Um, the next one is from uh, Victorious, and I did on Corinthians. 8 where it says he will also keep you firm to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ God is faithful who has called you into fellowship with his son Jesus Christ our Lord amen so what I did is I used stencil to make it look like a brick brick a brick street and I had all these Versus, I mean, all these stickers running down, all the way down to the finish line. Victorious, got the cut um, sticker, and I put some hearts here. I used some rhyme, some of the um, enamels that came in the kit, and I used the tab and a little bit of washi tape from the Illustrated Fake, and that page was done. Then I did this one is for Victorious, I think. Yes. Victorious. Um, this was in Philippians 1, and it says, Being confident of this, that he who became a good work in you will carry it on to completion into the day of Jesus Christ. So I said, He is faithful. Continue to the end. And then I made a prayer right here. I used some, my washi tape from my stash and some of the enamel dots that came with it and that was that i have one more to show you and i'm gonna show you that one at the end because it's my favorite this one is for um amazing grace i use a lot of the stickers that came in the in the in the in the devotional i used the washi tape down here I used the flowers and i put these little hearts in, in between the flowers and um, the thing says, the title says, Forgive as you have been forgiven. And the verse is 312, where it says, Therefore, as God chose people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has been grieved grievance against someone forgive as the Lord forgave you and over all these rituals put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity so um, I use these hearts is a stencil from Illustrated Faith I had this from Illustrated Faith and put the love sticker in there bind our love you bind it together so I love this page and I love how it came out and this is another one from Victorious I love how this came out I went online and I grabbed it in some some details of what I wanted to put here and um, I call I put a tab I put this racing track I did this stencil on this side and in between it look like it looks like a car the car rolled roll right through the verses I put the gasoline pump right here I called it fueled by faith and the verse is 2nd Timothy 4 and 6 is the verse it starts on 6 I did the whole paragraph so I'm gonna read that for I am already being poured out like a drink offering and the time for my the culture is near. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me to crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will always award to me on the day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longer for his appearance there's that one i think it's lovely i use this washi tape from illustrated faith and all these printables are from the website a website that i picked, just looked up and this is mirror mirror looks like i only saw i only have one of mirror mirror 
I thought I did more than that. I'll have to look. I know I did three of each. And in each one, I used a mirror stamp. So I'll have to go back through and see if I find it. Okay. Anyways, this is this one. And it's on... We are in First John, verse um, 9, I believe. And it says... I think I blocked it a little bit here. It says... If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive you us our sins and put put no no not put it says put uh, purify us from all unrighteousness. That is the verse. And I put beauty within right here. And Father speak to me. It, that's what I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear him speak to me. Oh, here's another one from Mirror Mirror. Uh, it's a thankful, thankful. It's Second Peter, and it's verse one. It says, "Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who, through the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ, have received a faith as precious as ours, grace." and peace by your in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine, divine power has given us everything we need for a good life, good lay life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through these he has given us his very great and precious promises so that through them you may par participate in the divine nature having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires um i used some some this is a design that i did i put some washi tape and i wanted a chevron look so I put washi tape in between here, made the design, and then colored it. And these are all shimmer colors, and they're shiny. I love it. And I used the mirror. The mirror was like my symbol on every entry. This one says, mirror, mirror. I forgot the T here. What you see, a goodly life. And that's, I put some stickers from the, from the verse there. And I want to see if we can find the last one that I did. Oh, here it is. It says obey. Listen and obey. And again, I did not write the... I didn't highlight the verse. So I have to go back on that and highlight that verse. The verses because I get confused. Anyways, this one says listen and obey to be blessed. So listen and obey to be blessed. This is a stencil that I picked up that I have. That's um, process. I used some stickers and some back lettering, these letters from it. I love them because they are, you, you, I can stack them anywhere I want and make a design on it. So I love that. I love these when they came out with this one. And that was it. But that was the last one I did. I showed you everything. Oh, I got one more to show you. And I did that one on my... Um, my Bible that brings it's the Psalm and Proverbs Bible only. Let me get that. It's kind of nice. It came out cute. It came out cute. I love it. This is what we did. This is what we did as a group in my house. Um, my niece came and my, my two nieces came and we worked on Bible journaling. And this one is on Proverbs, where are we here? Proverbs 4, verse 25 to 26. It says, let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the path. To the path. And I put, as a verse, as a title, I put, never look back, darling. It distracts from the normal. And I put her there. And this was a... Uh, pin that we found on Pinterest so we just did a similar thing that they, that they had 
Um, I use some yellow washi tape here. I put the glasses here. A tab, put them in. Put a little enamel dot. I use gelatos on the background and then I splatter some white paint. And I love how this page came out. I just love it. And that is it, folks. I just finished those three devotionals so quickly because like I said I was backed up and I needed to catch up to catch up on that one I also need to do catch up on illustrated fate devotionals so I'm gonna be doing that this week and so you should see a flip through of all of those um, probably at the end of the week next week before the week and the month ends because I am joining the girls with um, how to kill a kit with style. And I'll be introducing my kit on the 1st of September. So look forward for that. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit the bell button. You get notifications of my videos. And you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, just let me know. Have a great day. God bless. Be safe. Bye-bye.